video, I want to talk about the Miami Dolphins and give you guys five Miami Dolphins trade ideas that could happen this 2023 NFL offseason. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video and let's get right into it. So the first Miami Dolphins trade idea for this video is actually a Dalvin Cook Miami Dolphins trade. That could happen this offseason. So, uh, so far on Twitter, we've seen a lot of speculation about the Miami Dolphins potentially trading for Dalvin Cook of the Minnesota Vikings. And pretty much at this point, I would expect that Dalvin Cook will not be a member of the Vikings uh, come week one of the 2023 NFL season. Uh, I think prior to that, Dalvin Cook will either be traded or released by the team and will have a new home in 2023. And all signs sort of point towards the Miami Dolphins being the destination for Dalvin Cook in 2023. Now, uh, Dalvin Cook last year in 2022 had a really phenomenal season, uh, appeared in 17 games played, uh, 264 rushing attempts for 1,173 yards, 4.4 uh, yards per attempt. So not a bad number there, uh, did have eight touchdowns and more importantly, has proven that he can stay healthy for the majority of his NFL career with last year playing in 17 games uh, prior to that 13, 14, 14, and just overall a very solid player and has been named to the Pro Bowl the last four years as well. So um, I really do think Dalvin Cook at this point, sure, it's a little bit, you know, up there in, in regards to uh, the amount of his contract, but he's going to be 28 years old in 2023. I think solidifying the running back position in Miami uh, for this upcoming year in a very competitive AFC's division with teams like the Bills getting better, uh, the Jets, of course, getting better. It's going to be a battle. So uh, if they're able to improve their offense by getting one of the better running backs in football in Dalvin Cook, and if the price tag isn't even that high, maybe let's just say Cedric Wilson, for an example, plus maybe a later round draft pick, that could sort of be the trade package that works for Dalvin Cook. I'm all on board. So uh, the first uh, Miami Dolphins trade idea for this video is Dalvin. Cook of the Minnesota Vikings. The next Miami Dolphins trade idea for this video is actually a Derrick Henry Miami Dolphins trade from the Tennessee Titans. So sort of like Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry's name has been thrown out there in regards to trade rumors this 2023 NFL offseason. Now, I actually do think that Dalvin Cook is more likely to be traded or released this offseason than Derrick Henry, but I do think the uh, the Titans are doing all they can to sort of explore the trade market for some veteran players, and Derrick Henry is a player that I would think would be made available at the right asking price. Now, uh, sort of like Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry has proven through the majority of his NFL career that he can stay healthy, uh, despite the fact he has been a pretty focal part, a pretty large um, and focal piece, uh, you know, focal point of this uh, Titans offense um, throughout his career. Uh, he stayed healthy for the most part. Um, other than 2021, when he missed, you know, eight games due to an injury, uh, he was still a beast, right? In 2022, uh, in 16 games played, 349 rushing attempts for 1,538 yards, uh, 13 touchdowns overall, an incredible year for Derrick Henry. Uh, last year, of course, in 2021, the year prior, uh, just eight games played, but had pretty stacked, uh, pretty awesome numbers as well. And then prior to that, had some amazing seasons uh, in 2020, uh, putting up 2,027 yards and 17 touchdowns. In 2019, 1,540 rushing yards with 16 touchdowns. So I'm um, also to Derrick Henry, although not a focal point of the receiving game in Tennessee because he's more utilized as the running back one and really utilized heavily in the rushing game. He can be a decent pass catcher as well. Uh, this past year in 2022, Derrick Henry recorded 33, uh, 33 receptions on 41 targets. So uh, a bit of a you know multi-dimensional uh, player here in Derrick Henry. I think personally for Derrick Henry, he would benefit for um, benefit from a change of scenery where he's less of a part of this offense and not utilized as much in the rushing game because he is getting a little bit up there in age. Uh, he's going to be 29 years old during the 2023 NFL season. A three-time Pro Bowler, a one-time All-Pro, and overall is one of the better offensive players in all of football and arguably the most dominant running back in the league. I think that's pretty safe to say. So uh, Derrick Henry, if the Titans do want to move off of him, I think would be a phenomenal fit in this Miami Dolphins organization with more of a reduced role in regards to the running game. I think it would preserve his career and get the most out of him. So Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans is my number two player for the Miami Dolphins in 2023. Sticking with the theme of running back for this Miami Dolphins trade video, I want to talk about the third option being Austin Eckler of the Los Angeles Chargers as a Miami Dolphins trade candidate for the 2023 season. So um, I actually do think Austin Eckler will probably not be traded uh, prior to the start of the 2023 season, despite the fact that he did ask for a trade uh, at the start of the offseason. 
nothing has really transpired it seems like there hasn't really been any talks that have gone anywhere it seems like on the trade market with austin eckler so um austin eckler of course is heading into I, I believe the last year of his contract and wants a new contract and wants to be paid um you know to what he thinks he deserves and what he probably has deserved uh, giving his performance the last couple of years but it just seems like the chargers are not going to be that team willing to give him that contract and quite frankly I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% sure which teams out there would be willing to give Austin Eckler this contract. But um, sort of unlike the other two, Austin Eckler is a good running back, but he's actually more utilized and he's more valuable, in my personal opinion, in the receiving game. Having 120, or sorry, 107 receptions last year in 2022 on 127 targets. Austin Eckler can do both, right? He can rush uh, for nearly a thousand yards and he can receive for about 100 receptions a season. So. Austin Eckler, unlike the other two, is more utilized in the passing game and also, too, uh, can be a pretty big part in the rushing game, but that's not the focal point of his game, and I actually think he'd be a pretty good player in this Miami Dolphins offense in 2023 if it were to happen. So, you know, with Tua, you know, one healthy is, of course, one of the better running back or one of the better quarterbacks in football, one of the more accurate quarterbacks in football. He's not really known for his long, uh, you know, his deep passing game, for an example. But if we're able to add Austin Eckler to this team, it sort of adds a new look offensively with those short passes in the passing game. Also, to Austin Eckler being a good running back, I think it actually could check a lot of boxes for this Miami Dolphins offense and be a pretty versatile option for them to add in 2023 with the price tag not being super high. So I actually do think Austin Eckler would be a, would be a tremendous fit in this Miami Dolphins offense in 2023. Now I'm not 100 I'm not 100% sure if a trade's going to happen because of the contract extension that would have to take place after but Austin Eckler of the Los Angeles Chargers is definitely on the trade market and would be a tremendous Miami Dolphins player in my opinion for 2023. So now shifting gears a little bit from running back I actually want to talk about Jonah Williams of the Cincinnati Bengals as the fourth Miami Dolphins trade option in 2023 for of course the offensive line. Now uh, Jonah Williams of course did ask for a trade a couple weeks ago now uh, since the uh, the Bengals sort of you know added his replacement in free agency. It sort of seems like Orlando Brown is going to push Jonah Williams out of the way in Cincinnati and therefore he has reacted by requesting a trade. Now we haven't really heard anything from that trade request ever since it happened so I'm not 100% sure what the market is even like for Jonah Williams. I'm not even 100% sure if the Bengals want to trade this guy per se but at just 25 years old I think Jonah Williams would be a tremendous player for the Dolphins to acquire on their offensive line to hopefully protect Tua in 2023 from suffering another concussion because the next hit he takes could very well and unfortunately be the last one he takes in the NFL. So uh, the former first round pick being 11th overall in 2019 could be on his way out of Cincinnati with the addition of Orlando Brown. Now, um, Jonah Williams will be heading into his fourth year of his contract. Um, has stayed pretty healthy for the most part, appearing in all 16 games in 2022, as well as all 16 games in 2021. I think Orlando Brown will make this offensive line for the Bengals better. Uh, Jonah Williams, of course, is not a terrible player, but really hasn't quite lived up to the expectations of him being drafted. I, you know, I would say personally, uh, 11th overall in 2019. So uh, maybe at this point, a change of scenery for Jonah Williams and maybe a more left tackle role, which he probably won't have in 2023 with the Bengals could be the best thing for his career could really show his value but also too it's important to protect Tua so if they don't think that Jonah Williams can be that guy in Miami uh, to protect Tua up front uh, on the offensive line maybe it won't be a fit but uh, yeah Jonah Williams of course requested a trade a couple weeks ago nothing has really come of it I'm not 100% sure if he will even be traded uh, by the start of the 2023 season but if the Dolphins are looking for more offensive line help which they definitely should be Jonah Williams is pretty young and can be had uh, for, what, for what I would imagine would be a reasonable price tag and could actually be one of those moves that you buy low and you sell high if he does perform well in the Miami Dolphins organization. So uh, the fourth player is Jonah Williams, offensive lineman of the Cincinnati Bengals. The fifth and final player for this video that the Miami Dolphins could trade for is Jerry Judy of the Denver Broncos. So I know it's been reported for almost a year now that Jerry Judy is on and off on the trade market. There's rumors of him going to this team going to this team there's also rumors of him uh, not being traded whatsoever so I'm not 100% sure what to believe but if these rumors have gone out there and have been made public I do think the Broncos have at least taken calls on Jerry Judy and seen what his market is like on the trade market so uh, the Dolphins don't necessarily need a, a wide receiver but if they're able to replace Cedric Wilson Jr. with Jerry Judy they would have a wide receiving core of Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, and Jerry Judy 
and you can make the case that would be the best wide receiving core in the entire National Football League. So if I'm the Miami Dolphins, I would explore all possibilities out there on the trade market to make this team better. And with Jerry Judy potentially being available on the market from Denver, maybe a trade to the Dolphins could make a lot of sense. Now, uh, if Jerry Judy were to come over and be the third option on this team, that would be awesome, right? In 2022, Jerry Judy played in 15 games, had 67 receptions for 972 yards, 14.5 uh, yards per reception, six touchdowns. He had a pretty solid year for what was otherwise seen as not a good year for the Denver Broncos and maybe him going to this uh, uh, Miami Dolphins offense where he could be, you know, a third option on this pretty stacked wide receiving core. This could be the best thing for him. So I will keep an eye on Jerry Judy potentially getting traded at some point this 2023 NFL offseason. Could he go to the Miami Dolphins? I guess we'll find out. Leave your thoughts down below. So that is going to be it for this video. Those are just five teams or five players that I think the Miami, uh, that the Miami Dolphins could trade for in 2023. Leave your thoughts down below. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.